Lunge. Oh, there you are. Line and length. It's as simple as that, isn't it? That didn't do very much, the ball. But it was a perfect line, perfect length, a round off stump. In that corridor of uncertainty that creates doubt and problems for every batsman that's ever lived. And Rogers, the guy who's been scoring heavily, watch this. Just does a little bit, doesn't it? Didn't do much, but it was the right area, and everything that was uh, offered up there at Edgebaston was taken. So a good catch, and that's his. Bold. There you are. Thank you very much. As soon as the ball disappeared, they've had it. They can't play the moving ball. It just does a little bit. Well, bold, Stuart Broad. England on fire. Australia absolutely miserable. Well, that's the toss playing out, there's no doubt about it. England bowled well in the last test match and Broaden is opening over. Two wickets down already, Australia, can you believe it? Watch his the way he plays this. This is the guy who's the big scorer. Watch how square on he is. Look how chest on, feet pointing down the pitch against a slightly moving ball. No chance, he's had five failures. Two at Cardiff, two at Edgebus. Catch, there you are. Simple as that, they just cannot play against the moving ball. And this is just a little bit of movement. It is unbelievable how bad they are when the ball just moves a bit. You saw at Cardiff, you saw at Edgebaston. They were great on a flat pitch at Lord's. Just moved away again, perfect bowling from Broad. And the slips, well, they can stay there and take more of those because I think the bowling will not get any e Oh, out! Oh, oh, what a catch! What a brilliant catch! England on fire! The Ashes were just about won this morning. What a corker that was! Big edge from Burgess. Stokes. At a fifth slip, he was Superman. The way that right arm was out. Have a go at this. Wow, that is a catch. That's brilliant stuff. Whoa, if you paid your money this morning to watch England, you know, an England supporter, broads. A five-wicket haul in just 19 balls. That equals the fastest five-wicket haul ever in the history of the game. Only the Australian, Andy Toshak, back in 1947. Good match that from Broad. Good grab, too, from Alistair Cook. Quite brilliant from England. The catch-in, the ball of Broad. Tested Australia's tech. Had to bat and has had to pay a heavy price for losing that toss. And indeed, the wild stroke that he's just played. And the ball is held a lot. The five wicket haul. A remarkable performance. We've had the what? Third. And that's another one. And it's the same kind of dismissal that's characterised the whole of this appalling Australian batting performance. Just a poke outside off stump, no footwork, and another very good catch. And Stark, who played pretty well at Edgbaston, particularly in the second innings, falls to just a hint of a way swing. There isn't a lot of movement in that particular ball. There has been plenty of movement out there, and England have caught Mag. Oh, can you believe it? Complete repeat performance. Johnson this time just fiddling outside off stump. Actually, that was an excellent ball from Stuart Broad, and these are his best figures, 7 for 11 for Stuart Broad. Well, we're now at the stage where we have a performance from Broad that's going to be talked about forever, rated alongside anything that's happened. We've been out there, what, oh, no time really, an, an hour and a quarter. He's bowled all of that time. Gatch, simple as that. And eventually, Stuart Broad has got a rich reward. He deserves...